Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's seated in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Maybe you'd even like to stand or move about. In any case, allow your body to become comfortable. And you, you settle into that comfortable posture. Notice if there's muscular tension that's present anywhere in your body. Briefly scan your body from your face to your jaws, your shoulders, your arms, your hips, your legs. If you find muscular tension present anywhere in your body, gently invite that tension to relax. Allow your body to relax. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin, just a gentle, easy smile. And settle in here for a few moments, allowing your body to be comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. Notice what it feels like to be here and really enjoy it. Enjoy that comfort. Enjoy the relaxation. Enjoy the smile on your face. Without leaving this place, this place of comfort and relaxation, the smile on your face, see if you can begin to steer your mind in the same direction of loving kindness, specifically by reflecting on things in your life that you can summon a sense of gratitude for. Using your mind, say to yourself, I feel grateful for this, and I feel grateful for that, whatever it is for you. 
perhaps the food that you had to eat today or the friends that you got to spend time with. Whatever it is, whatever feels alive for you. Speak to yourself and your mind about what you're grateful for. Be sure that you can hear the phrases in your mind, just as if you were speaking them out loud. Actually say them in your mind and hear them. And as you reflect on these things that you're grateful for, notice if there's any response in the body, if any feelings of gratitude arise. That may or may not happen for you. But if these feelings do arise, notice them and really enjoy them. This is a general principle in loving kindness practice. If there's any enjoyment, any feelings of love or happiness, or enjoyment of any kind. Notice those feelings and really savor them. Soak them up, even if they're small. Continue to reflect on things that you're grateful for for another few moments. Very good. Now, consider someone in your life who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. You're easy to love person or animal. This could be a friend or family member, a small child or pet. It could even be someone imaginary, imagining, for example, a small puppy or a kitten a baby, anyone that you like that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Consider someone like that. And as you do, visualize that person in your mind's eye. and Imagine them being happy, perhaps smiling or laughing, playing, whatever is appropriate for this person in your relationship with them. But use your mind's eye to visualize them being happy.
Imagine this person here, easy to love person or animal. Visualize them being happy. If you'd like, you can use mental talk to direct happiness towards them with a phrase like, I love you, or I care about you, or may you be happy, or any phrase that you like, really. The main thing is to cultivate an attitude of well-wishing towards your easy-to-love person or animal in whatever way feels good for you, whether it's images or phrases or both or some other method. You get to decide how to practice. If you're using images, you might find it helpful to refresh your image every so often or to use new images. If you're using phrases, you might find it helpful to say the same phrase over and over again or to circulate through different uh, phrases. Saying a new phrase every few seconds. Lots of options for how to practice and you can explore what's best for you. Again, the main thing is to cultivate an attitude of well-wishing for your easy to love person or animal. Continue to be attuned to your body and how it responds to this exercise. And if there's any enjoyment or happiness, notice that and really enjoy it. Continue to cultivate love and an attitude of well-wishing towards your easy-to-love person or animal for another moment.
In a moment, we'll transition towards directing loving kindness towards our younger selves. But if any feelings of love or happiness, well-wishing have arisen for you in your body, there's no need to put those aside, even as we transition. You can maintain those feelings, just like you're rounding a curve in your car. You're changing directions, but you're still going forwards. Bring to mind an image of a memory of your younger self, perhaps at a difficult time in your life. It doesn't have to be the most difficult experience you've ever had, it's just something that was challenging for you. It could be recent or long time ago in your childhood something that happened to you in the past. Visualize what that was like for you. Recall what it was like and bring it to mind. Remembering in your mind's eye, what was that like? as you bring this memory to your conscious mind, see if you can find a way to cultivate that same attitude of well-wishing towards your younger self in that situation. Perhaps using visual images in your mind or phrases, auditory talk space, or just feeling these same feelings of love directed towards yourself, your younger self, any way that you like, really. Again, simply cultivate this attitude of well-wishing for your younger self. Feel free to be creative, experimental, playful, responsive to the specifics of the memory that you're working with. What would you tell your younger self? What kind of love do they need? Is there a way you could give that to them? Be playful and explore. Find some way to give your younger self the love that they needed.
If you'd like, you can continue to work with the same memory of your younger self, or you can move on to a new memory, moving through as many memories as you like at whatever pace you like. You might find it useful to stay with the same memory for a long time or to move through many different memories. You get to decide how to practice. Simply continue to cultivate an attitude of loving kindness for your, your younger self.
Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you learn anything new? Did you face any challenges? Take a moment to consider and reflect. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation.